so Dr. Rogers here. Um, this is my personal dog, Oscar. Many of you guys know he um, just turned seven on Sunday, which was very exciting for him. Unfortunately, I also diagnosed him with lymphoma last week. Lymphoma is a type of cancer that unfortunately is not super uncommon in these guys and it affects your lymph nodes and um, actually his team member here was scratching and giving him some love and noticed that there was a little bit of enlargement with their lymph nodes and he told me i had just done um, some procedures on him soon before that and didn't notice anything so it's amazing how quickly these guys can progress so he had some lymph nodes enlarged here underneath his chin in his prescapular area, you can feel him here in his armpits and in his popliteal lymph nodes. Um, from the time I diagnosed him a week later, um, he, and if you can kind of see over here, he's kind of starting to look like a walrus. <laughs> he's got a lot of fluid and edema that's starting here. You can see all this extra skin and his, his face is really puffy because he's starting to retain fluid from these lymph nodes being enlarged. We're also starting to see a little bit of this edema here. So I've elected to start him um, on uh, chemotherapy. It's a modified version of something we call the Wisconsin Protocol, or CHOP for short, and it's a variety of different medications. So today he just got his first chemo treatment, which was um, a sub-Q injection of a medicine called Elspar, and then we just gave him an intravenous medicine of something called Vincristine. So he'll get treatments every week here for a little while. It'll alternate between injectable medicines and oral medicines. We're gonna monitor his blood counts. Um, if, if my husband and I had elected to do nothing, um, the life expectancy for him was one to three months. And so certainly we wanted to try and buy as much good quality time as we can. And the reason I'm making this, this video and we're gonna do a little blog of Oscars, because many times when we talk about chemotherapy, people immediately say no, because they don't want um, you know, their dogs to be sick. They don't want the side effects. They don't want their hair to fall out, all that kind of stuff. So that's not the case. So. What we're going to do here is I want to document everything that Oscar's going through so that you guys can see how he does it on a daily basis. So today is day one of his chemo treatment. So he just got his injections. Um, I gave him a little bit of anti-nausea medicines this morning and then we I'll take a little video of him probably every day here for the next couple days. And um, then we'll show you week two, week three, week four. Hopefully this buys us some more time. Six to nine months is what we're hoping. There's no guarantees. Um, I didn't type him to see what kind of lymphoma this is. There's B cell and T cell. So I don't know specifically. T cell is unfortunately more aggressive, but um, hopefully this gives us some, some good time and we'll see here. Hopefully by next week, we should see some of this fluid go down so I don't look like I have a half walrus anymore. So um, thank you for following along with Oscar's journey and we'll keep you updated. Day two of chemotherapy, and we're eating all of our breakfast. There you go, buddy. Good morning. Where's the belly band? Because he's incontinent, and I can't have him leaking urine in the house. One, because it's gross, but two, um, he'll have chemotherapy residuals in his urine for the next couple of days. So, day two of chemotherapy. Hmm? You're a big, tough guy? Two days into chemo? Hmm? We're barking at the neighbor outside? Come on, time to go to bed. Okay. You wanna lay there and not on the four inch Tempur Pedic foam bed that we have. Okay, day two chemo completed.